Hello, it's good to be with you, and we're broadcasting from what is a very special venue for all Australian football fans, Stadium Australia, here in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Switzerland up against Norway. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how Switzerland will line up. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers, and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And so the match is underway. Bühler, Ramona Bachmann. Now, who can she pass it to? Ingrid Sirstad Engen. Now with Graham Hansen. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Really nice ball. And still danger here. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Playing it short. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, nicely cut out. Harvey. And they need to get tighter. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Noel Maritz. Must take the lead here. In it goes. But wait a minute. That will not count. Well, that was tight. It was a good finish, though.
there to win it back. Bachmann. Well read to win possession back. Cerno Gorcevic. So. Now with Wrighton. Lund. Harvey. Ingrid Sirstad Engen. Ada Hegerberg. They could nudge in front. Well, not quite accurate enough, but it was a close thing. Ada Hegerberg. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it peters out, but they still might be able to do something. Well, nothing comes of it. Lia Velti. Can she find the right pass? In position. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be chance to finish oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but that's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make teammates to play it to across lacking guile and accuracy oh a lovely ball oh good vision frantic action from one end to the other they weren't ahead for long and this match is level again well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal but you have to ask questions of the keeper could she have done better? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So back underway following the equaliser. Has a go! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Favouring the short one. Preferring to go infield. And no way through. Sandrine Moron. Can she score? Well, it wasn't a straightforward save, but credit to her. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. A 
and the short option preferred. Great opportunity. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. Playing it in. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. And well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? They take it short. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. And a yellow card, it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Well, nicely cut out. Sandrine Moron. Maritz. Caligaris. That's a well struck pass. And options in the centre. Is she going to finish? And a goal! And you've got to say, they definitely took a deflection off the defender. Well, as the replay shows, it takes a deflection. And as a result, the keeper had very little chance there. They just got a bit of luck. Managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Who can they pick out? Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final third. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Graham Hansen. Promising sequence.
Well, mopping up defensively. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Graham Hansen. Able to clear the danger. Corner kick though here. And a substitution in the offing. Now sending it in. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Graham Hansen. Mornum. Oh, a lovely ball. And she couldn't quite make it count. Close. Well, not far away, but really, that should be hitting the back of the net. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. So, a half an hour remaining. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And an astute piece of defending. Mornu, can they create something from here? Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Nice-looking pass. Crossing opportunity. Who's going to win this joust? Chance here. And there she is at the double. Nobody can get close to her. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Taylor, four goals in this match now. Three one it is. Brighton. Engen. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And the referee retrospectively will go back and hand out the yellow card. Hengen. Happy to take on the shot. And there is the goal! Wow, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. say defences are on top 3-2 Svenja Fulmi well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball a quarter of an hour remaining here Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Oh. 
Anna Maria Tsevno Gorcevic. Lehmann. Gemayli. An incisive pass. Well, it all counts for naught. Graham Hansen They're showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circuit oh a goal an equaliser in the closing stages well here you can see it again good run great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle the referee knew that was foul play but advantage it is counter-attacking very much an option do they have the guile to open up the defense and simple for the keeper Duba Hansen on the attack as there to be late excitement oh it's there for her oh that's magnificent goalkeeping and now we find out it was offside anyway Nicely cut out. And slipped through beautifully. Could be threatening. And outboxing her opponent. Giving it a try. A routine save. And the final whistle is sounded. A share of the spoils here. Stuart, what did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, it's a horrible feeling when you concede so late in the game. They thought they had the game won, but a lack of concentration has cost them dear here.